Hello guys, welcome to ZTP Present Tech View, another episode today. Uh, I'll show you guys how you can um, add, a, add, a, add a machine, virtual machine or physical machine, any kind of machine, add it with the domain. That means bind up with the domain. So if you work as a system admin in any organization, uh, most probably you will have access, you will have administrative privilege access on Active Directory domain, but the one exception is like if you work for a big, big organization. So if they have a, uh, several group, like if they have a 50 department and each department, if they consider as an organization, in that case, maybe in, in, inside the active directory, they can have subdomain based on the group. So there is uh, activity subdomain is different thing, but they can create you as a group, but it will show as a subdomain. What does it mean? I'll show you practically. So for example, you are hired for an organization, um, for a group of the organization, but you, um, you're working as a system admin, but you don't have access on the parent domain, which, is, which means, for example, you're working in Virginia for ELS.com. But ELS.com, the main admin, he control everything and he created a subdomain for you and he provide you the full access on that group only, that subdomain only. So how you can add your machine on the dedicated your domain, which is your subdomain. That's what I'm gonna show you here. Um, so let's share my screen. All right, so this is actually, um, ELS, this is my domain controller, it's my home lab. So ELS.com is a parent domain. So for example, um, you are hired for Virginia. So actually how he created this subdomain, this is not actually the, I'm, I'm calling this one as a subdomain, but on the domain structure, it's not actual subdomain, but it's gonna act as a subdomain. So, but subdomain creation process is different way. I'm showing you how like the main system admin who controlled the main parent domain, how he created this one and how he assigned how he assigned you. And after you, how you can add your machine on the domain. Right now, no, no, none of the machine is here. So all these are um, static. You see, it's manually created, right? All those are manually created. So, it's a, a DNS entry. And the way he created, for example, if I can show you an example, the way he created uh, some uh, new domain, and he said, for example, New York, NY. So he put it NY. So now NY is a group, right? And think about NY IP is yeah, 192.168.47. So how are you going to add it as a reverse lookup zone? So he's going to add it on the reverse lookup zone. So here he will create a new zone, next, 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 and then I can use the lookup zone, I can use four, which is 192.168.C, for example, 45. Next, next, and finish. So if you have any IP on 445 subnet, it's going to be showing here. It's going to be showing here. All right. So and the machine is going to show up on the NOI. Right now, there's nothing here, right? All right, so I'm going to create this example. So Virginia, all are static here, right? So how are you going to add your machine? And on the activity computers, um, servers in the uh, activity users and computer side, whenever you add any machine, by default, it's going to add in here. It's going to come to computer only. The computer object when you add when you add a machine in the domain automatically it creates a um, computer object and uh, where is gonna put it is gonna put on computers for you but if you want to create or put your machine on your specific uh for you so for example you see here how many sub domain a sub uh OU I have so under um, under the domain is the computer server is the OU name, and under this OU, there's another three sub OU, which is uh, the, the third one is Windows Server 2019, right? 
So under this sub -u, we have another two sub -u. And the, the second one is production. So under this production sub -u, we have taxes and provision, right? So the parent domain admin, he gives you permissions admin privilege access only on BA. Yes. So, and you target is to add a machine with this in here. How are you going to do that? So, that's the process. You have to create a computer account before you add that machine with the domain. Before you bind it with the domain, you have to create a computer object here. But the computer object is supposed to be created automatically, but it's going to create automatically and it will go to, goes to computers or you, not your specific OU. If wants to do on your specific OU, in that case, you have to create it manually. Otherwise, it goes to computers OU, right? And if it goes to computers OU and you don't have permissions, so you don't have access there, how are you going to move that machine? In that case, you have to communicate with the parent domain administrator and then request him to move your machine from the computers OU to your OU. That's the process. But if you want to create a different add a machine, the beginning with that or into your target OU. In that case, you have to create a manual computer object. And manual creation is very simple. You just need to right click on any blank space, click a new, and then computer, and type the computer name, the object name, the computer, this is the computer name, and okay. So computer object is created, right? Now we need to go to the computer. So which is the computer one? This one, uh, this is the computer I want to add. Let me log in there. So my local admin name is Rinan Admin, that's why I'm typing Rinan Admin. Don't be confused with this. All right. All right. So, how are you going to add this? Yes, from the server. There is a several way you can add a machine with the domain. You can bind a machine with the domain. So we can go from the My Computer and then Properties and then Computer Name and then Change and add with the domain. And another way is through the server manager. And I always recommend to do with the server manager because it's easy, flexible, and convenient. So to the server manager, when the server manager is uh, on, in that time, you just need to go to local server. By default, it's dashboard. You need to go to local server. And from there, you have to wait a little bit because the machine is running a little bit slow. It's responding a little bit slow. I don't know why. It should work. All right. So yeah, so now I'm able to see. So where you have to click computer name. So this is the computer name. And then you have this window, right? This window. So from this window, you have to go to the change option. And then computer name is there, just member of the domain, right? So our main pair domain is ELS. Whatever subdomain subgroup you are in, it doesn't matter. ELS, right? ELS.com. ELS.com. And click OK. And it will ask you for provide a uh, credential. What credential? Your domain admin credential. If you are not a part of a domain admin or administrative privilege access, if you don't have, you cannot add any machine with the domain. So maybe you can have two user account, one is a regular account and one is an administrative account. So you have to use your administrative account. That means your username and your password. But in my case, I don't have created any user for me. So I'm using the default one, which is administrator, the domain admin. And the password. So this is the domain, it's not local admin, it's a domain admin. But in your case, it's not mandatory, you have to use administrator. You, have, you can use your administrative account. Or you can see your secondary account, or you can see your administrative account, whatever you want. So click OK. All right, let's so welcome to the yellow.com domain. It's, it's added already, right? And you need to have a reboot. So we start now. I'm going to restart it now. And now, if you go to the computer account, 
So you just need to refresh it, refresh. And whenever you, so we already added, right? This one. So whenever you double click on it, it's gonna show you ELS, ELS, ELS second, this is the machine name, dot ELS.com. But our target is to move it to BA.com, BA.ELS.com. But it's not showing on, on a mine, subdomain, right? Because it's automatically added there. And if you check the DNS, automatically it has it, spread, it, it creates a DNS entry. So let's refresh. And then you're gonna see here. See here, when the reverse lookup journal is created this one, with this stem, that is ELS.com, not ELS, not yeah, not the machine name dot BA dot ELS.com. Yeah, it has a timestamp. So it's supposed to show here also. Um, it's not coming come back here. Just give me one second. Let's, let's see, it will be 11 o'clock. Yeah. So it's created a ELS entry, but it what? It ELS.com, not dot ba dot ELS.com, right? So it's not, it doesn't fulfill our requirement. What are you gonna do right now? Log in there with the, with the domain account. So in my case, the server. So now, if I want to move, um, on the activity domain here, I created manually, right? So it's, it can come in here, but still the DNS entry shows ELS.com or BA on the computer object plus on the DNS side, same thing is an under ELS, but we need to move this one to VA. Right now VA has only one VM and you wanna you might have add the 41, I think it's not here. It's gonna move here within short time. Just let's see how we can do that, right? So after you bind with the domain, and then you have to change one thing, which is, I'm going to show you this right now. Just give me one second to open up the server manager. All right. Yes, you said TV is running all right. So we are very close. Um, now see? The machine name dot ELS .com. Our target is to make it VA dot ELS .com. I'm going to do that. Click on the machine name, same process, change. And then before we add here domain name, but in, right now you just have to click on more. And on the more option, just add VA dot. That's it. VA dot. Primary DNS suffix for this computer, va.ela.com. And click OK. Click OK. It's gonna, so you must install your computer to apply this change. OK. And close. 
that is removing, it's changing. So let's check this one, config object, right? So just do a refresh, do a refresh. Refresh and then check this one. What it shows? Automatically, I didn't change here, right? It shows VA. But this is good. The DM simply moves to our target OU, right? All right. So now we can we need to check the DNS entry, actual DNS entry. So here is nothing, right? And this is the DM here, right? So now this, this one is still what? Still in ELS .com, not BA or ELS. So just do a refresh. Just do it. Refresh. 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 And now check it. What is here? No. What is here? No. No what is here, which is 162, 192.168.30.41, right? So there's no 30s here. Now check here. See? It's not automatically here. It's not automatically here. On our target. Oh, I want to target the oh, you subdomain, right? The subdomain on the domain side, the other side. And also you can check here. Just refresh. It has two entries because before I had one entry which is static, that's why it's not moving. You can just delete it. Statically. So we had automatically, we had this entry, right? So this is the way actually you can add your machine and you can achieve your goal. That's the way. Now you can log in. Okay. And no, not this one. Okay. So that's how uh, to move and in short time you can see actually what change we have. Uh, we just need to open server manager and then you can easily see it. Okay, yes. So this is how actually you can do it, right? Then I go to the server manager and then local server. The full computer name is user.com, user That's what it shows. Okay. All right, I'll see, hopefully I'll see you guys in another video. And if you think this video is helpful for you, please give a good thumb, thumbs up and also share with your friends. And don't forget to subscribe my channel if you don't know that yet. Um, and please uh, click the bell icon and that's how you can get my next update. And thanks. Thank you. Thanks for watching and thanks for your time. I'll see you guys in another episode.